Welcome to the next section where we're talking about vertical projectile motion and we are doing a quick recap of uh, what we covered in the previous section. One, we mentioned that gravity is always accelerating downwards. We did not say it's always negative, always positive. Rather, we said it is always downwards. So whatever the sign of your reference system, if downwards is positive, then gravity will be positive. If downwards is negative, then gravity will be negative. But one thing it is always, it is always down to the center of the Earth. Okay, uh, objects moving upwards, we said if it's moving upwards, gravity is acting downward, it will cause it to slow down. And if it's act moving downward, its velocity is downward. But while its acceleration is in the same direction of motion, it will also go uh, faster. Then we said projectiles at the greatest height, remember when I threw up the pen, when it reaches the top, the greatest height, uh, it has a velocity of zero. Okay, so now let's talk about three different cases. I'm going to break up the way we will learn um, the way we will learn this content into three different cases. The first case would be case number one, and I'm going to call this case the drop case. Okay, so the drop case. What do we know about the drop case? Firstly, I want to point out to this word as you can see over there. Oops, let's go one back. Let's just reselect the pen. The word drop. The word drop tells us one very important thing. Firstly, right from seeing the word drop, we know that the initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second. Okay. Now, this is actually very bad of me because I should have started with my reference system. And I'm going to put the reference system here. We are going to say everything that is upwards we're going to take as positive and everything downwards we're going to take as negative. Now, let's go back to this. Firstly, we don't know the final velocity. So I'm going to put a question mark there, but I'm also going to indicate that that final velocity is going to be negative because the final velocity is going downward. Okay, now let's look at this thing over here little g is a constant. No matter where the object is close to the surface, earth, surface, close to the Earth's surface, my bad, uh, we will find that g has a value of gravitational acceleration 9,8 meters per second squared. Okay, or m dot s to the negative 2. But very importantly, gravitational acceleration is acting downwards, so we must put a negative there. Okay, now this particular distance that you see going from there to there, all the way there, we will consider that delta y, you can also write it as delta x, it doesn't really matter. Um, that value is going to be, not yellow, it's going to be negative. Right, it will have a negative value because it's in the direction of downwards. Now there's one more thing, which is the time, and time will always be positive. So therefore t is also positive because time is always positive. Okay, so a few things that we know here. We know that velocity will equal to 0 meters per second. We also know that it will be equal to the gravitational acceleration it has a value of 9,8, which is negative because it's in the direction of downward, and the downward direction we took as negative. Okay, the delta y, we don't know its value, but we know we must get a negative value. The final velocity, we know we must get a negative value because it's also in the direction of downward. And the time, time will be positive. If you have any difficulty in this, I encourage you to repeat the steps and to rewind um, and go through them a few more times. Okay, so that is the drop case. So let's, let's give a quick recap and double check uh, what we know about the drop case. I'm going to write there big drop. Okay. Right. And that concludes case number one.